Okay, this video is about uh, the drug known as psilocybin, aka magical mushrooms. Again, disclaimer, um, I do not endorse the use of any psychoactive substance or any substance of that. Um, drugs are bad for you, etc., etc. Uh, this is just uh, for me to be able to show, or at least uh, the world, of what my experience was with this chemical. And uh, I am not saying in any way that you should use it or that you should go and find it yourself for any other purpose. Um, with that getting over with, I will say that psilocybin is a very interesting substance. It, um, for some people, they find it more of a, a toxic reaction to it where it feels more of a, a poison in their veins. But for me, it felt more of awakening. And I would feel in the days, you know, I'd be in the days there maybe for an hour, and then I'd it come in a wave and I'd get up and look outside and start walking down the street and notice that they were, uh, it was very illusionistic pattern, you know, it wasn't uh, very definitive all the time, but at some point in times it was very definitive and it was a very clear pattern there that really wouldn't exist there otherwise. And at the doses that I was using as Liberty Caps, I was taking uh, for one summer, approximately, it was probably every day actually, for about two months. Um, I would be going and picking them out in the morning and day tripping. Well, I would eat about approximately 40 to 50, and, and at other times 120 uh, psilocybin uh, Liberty Cap mushrooms. And uh, I would go to the fair and various places. I mean, I would it would just be a different trip every day. I'd be in different places, uh, meeting different people, talking to, new, to people that I knew, um, associating with friends. In various formats, you know, and, uh, you know, through that experience of, like, two months just went by. I mean, it just seemed to, like, be, like, a blink of an eye. And I found myself in, uh, uh, at the end of that trip experience in a, uh, juvenile detention. It was, this was back when I was, uh, I think 16 years old or 17 years old. Either way, I, I had to go in one night tripping and, sit down in the jail cell and sit there, you know, it was just juvenile detention for like 15 days, but, um, it impaired definitely my, uh, coordination of my eyesight and my decision choices very much, so I chose to, uh, steal my mom and dad's car keys, I'm not saying that this is what other people would do, I just did it because I was going to go over by my friend's house stupid decision, I know, you know, I figured that they wouldn't even notice, but my, uh, sister, you know, had to tell on me <laughs> how that goes, you know, everybody knows how that goes, right, but anyway, I, yeah, I, uh, I went over there and I, uh, I did what I had to do, and then after that, uh, things just, you know, weren't the same, I remember in the jail cell, I was, uh, looking down at all these it was uh, like a heater, a heater against the wall, you know, and it has all these little circle holes in it. And I was staring at it, and it would change. They'd start moving around and being in a different geometric format. And I mean, that lasted days when I was in there. And I was like, you know, that, of course, two months worth of use of psilocybin would obviously do something like that. But after about six months, the um, the majority of the the uh, actual HPPD effects you know, came to a, a subtle, you know, a halt, but, uh, still, I, um, from my psilocybin experiences, um, you can get flashbacks from it still, you know, it's just not as common as, you know, a substance such as LSA or LSD or mescaline, and, um, the experience with psilocybin was just really, uh, really it has a spiritual aspect to it very much so you feel very well connected with uh, fluent empathy and uh, an array of emotions that otherwise you wouldn't normally feel as well as uh, with with a touch of color and seeing and sight and sound your your um, all your senses get like a little bit in a way you know it can come into synthesia and just uh, fusion they come together and like um, blend together and sort of you taste and smell here a different color and <laughs> things were just different and so 
after using it for a couple months, I decided to stop using it for, it's been uh, about a year and a half now. Um, I have tripped every so often, maybe like once in a week, you know, in, in the last couple of like years that I have done. And it's, um, you know, psilocybin mushrooms uh, are, are definitely have a magical aspect to them. They are strange in nature, for sure. Um, and they are unique in their own uh, way than LSD would be, or any other psychoactive chemical. Well, that being said, um, my trip report, basically what, I give it a thumbs up, you know, but not for an extensive amount of time as that I did it. I did it too much for, uh, did it too long, you know, a, couple, a little bit too much. And, um, so you need, like, just, you know, use it recreationally, not as an everyday thing that I just kind of went forward to her because it was summer and vacation. I just wanted to have a good time, I suppose. Anyway, that's about that.